I, I believe that we should protect every, every human life and we should protect every life from the moment of conception. And the, And I will say there is more and more consensus we are seeing on this issue as we see, for example, pe people coming together to bar extreme practices, things like partial birth abortion, where we're seeing large consensuses of American people saying this, this, this practice is gruesome, it's barbaric. Uh, it is my hope uh, that we see people's hearts and minds change. Uh, but this is an issue where it's going to take time for people's hearts and minds to change. That if you're going to change a major issue of public policy, the way to do so, I believe, is at the ballot box. You know, you know, I have a, my whole life I've been a passionate defender of the Constitution. And, and, and I think judicial activism is wrong. One of the worst things about the Supreme Court in 1973, <laughs> stepping in and seizing this issue, is it took it out of control of the people. It, it, it said that five unelected judges will decide this issue rather than 330 million Americans. I, I believe under our Constitution we have a democratic society and that if someone wants to pass legislation limiting or expanding abortion, the way to do that is to convince your fellow citizens to make the case at the ballot box. And I think that, that ultimately is the check for both your views and my views, that you've got to convince our fellow citizens. But I think. All of us should agree that it's a much better system to have important public policy issues decided by the people at the ballot box rather than five unelected lawyers just imposing their views on everybody else. So is Roe v. Law, Roe v. Wade settled law in your view? I, no, and, and, and I think it was, a, it was a classic example of activism. It even, was a, even if that's true, though, here we are some 40 years later. Mm -hmm. What would a President Cruz do about it? Well, I, look, I think there's 